It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between NFC South rivals. It's the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 23. The first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. The kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. First play and Young is going to throw it. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second and six. Here's Young. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33. 
A give running left. It's Sanders. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now a second down throw for Young. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Complete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Young. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because coverage was all too aware that this close to the end zone, He's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Carr going to throw. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Matt Rule, not a big fan of that last call, and he's going to go ahead and challenge it. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake. Carr. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. To throw his car. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Jeremy Chin, so dangerous wherever he's at on the field, and that time he gets in there for the sack. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Let's rock and roll. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah, right right It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Young. He's got a man. That's Marshall. And they're going to get this up to midfield. First and 10, it's Sanders. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Taken down by Pete Werner. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Second down, back to Sanders. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations.
line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Young now. His throw incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 13-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Young to throw it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Terrace Marshall from 10 yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Carr. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. 
The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. To throw, it's Carr. There's Chris Olave. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off, and then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Carr to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Kamara gets it again on second down. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Shotgun now for Carr. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defensive coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Camara will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss.
Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Car now to throw. Trying to improvise. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And the offense coming back out here, plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Young looks to throw on first down. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Young. That one complete. He finds Shark. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. Young to throw it. And that is taken in by Hurst. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. A very solid gain of 27. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Young. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 16. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And the nimble footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. A solid run on first down. Gain of 7 leaves him with a second and 3. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and three from the nine. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. They'll go again with Sanders. They juked him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Miles Sanders taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Panthers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, and it's Kamara again. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. 
I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Here comes the Saints punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Throwing, Young. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. It's a second down run with Sanders. And some room to work. Pass the 20. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 82 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. So that run there, yeah, I don't know if it's overstating things to call it a thing of beauty, but in terms of football plays, that's as good as you're going to see. And the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact. How many times do we see runners get slowed up and not get what they can on a run because of that first contact? But he kept the compass pointing in the right direction, kept the legs churning, and turned this into a huge play. They'll run with Sanders. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. Sanders. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now here's Young. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points there, and they continue to build this first-half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps, and the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. 
The New Orleans offense set to take over. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Throwing on first down is Carr. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A give to the fullback on the dive. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. I remember sitting in special teams meetings, and at some point during the meeting, the coach would always say, you better treat this one just like you're playing offense or defense. It's a big part of the game, and we just saw evidence of why right there with that fumble. Yeah, a fumble on the punt, and after it was turning up to be a pretty decent return. Yeah, a really nice return. They were going to be set up okay, and the offense would feel good running onto the field. And now the defense has to try it out there and try and slow them down. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. A first down throw for Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Young. He'll get this complete to the running back Hubbard. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Get him going, baby. 
Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 48. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we come upon halftime. Intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. First, though, Time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Carolina. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Saints, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. They start the second half with Kamara. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.
A tenth carry for Kamara. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first down, Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Second down at five. Try on the left side with Kamara. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw his car. Escaping the pressure right. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They can't beat us straight up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here is Young. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride, and I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it, and they pick up another first down there. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Now a second down and six. To throw Young. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. This is just more of the same. This defense, 
has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Looking to throw, Young. And Shark calls it in. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Come on, dog! So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age. But then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't and it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Running right, here's Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. now on first down to the sideline and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in a good pick up there 26 yards well we talk all the time about playing situational football right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do where they are in this game they've got to push the ball downfield take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time that was a nice play there So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Kamara up the middle. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out. Here's Carr. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, and Thomas has it. 
They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and now we've got a third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Shotgun now for Carr. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he is going to have a Saints first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. A give. This is Kamara. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From just shy of midfield, Carr targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Young on first down. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. From the 27, Young taking a shot here for Marshall. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Young. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. 
And taken right at the 35. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Car now on first down. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now Carr, looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games we just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. Every day, let's do what we do every day. Y'all got time, let's go. Real fast. Play a little aggressive, baby. Let's go. Let's go do this thing, baby. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They start on the ground here at Sanders, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48, a gain of just one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He finds his man complete. It's Hubbard. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time it's third and three. Out of the gun, it's Young. Uh, he's got Hurst, his tight end. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend.
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hubbard. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Young to throw it. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Now Young. Touchdown! Chuba Hubbard from eight yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that stretches the lead to 27. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. On first and 10, here's Carr. Now they go screen. It's complete. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. To throw again on second down, Carr looking middle, and that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. 
And that's going to bring up third and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Open man is Michael Thomas. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Car to throw again. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And they're gonna move it down to inside the 25. That's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And Graham's got it, complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Throwing on first down is Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short gain. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Car going to throw. And it's caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. I think we should put a stopwatch on that one. You talk about having all day to throw the football, able to scan the field, find someone open after a long time. Big time credit to the offensive line for protection. That's what we used to call throwing out of the rocking chair. On second and goal, Carr, touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Saints are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Lutz with the extra point, and the lead now down to 20. A 10-play drive that time. And it's polished off through the air with a touchdown to Alvin Kamara.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Another run with Sanders. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. which always helps. And on the road. How about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Yeah, Most they time thumped in, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up. On the road, big margin, big victory. Oh, yeah, that flight home will be good.